Hello Internet world. In today's video, I'm very excited to bring you my review of the Astel & Kern Khan Ultra. This is a high-res digital audio player, which is packed full of features and very high-grade components. I can't wait to share my review with you. I want to start by just taking a look at the box and the package contents. So this is the outer sleeve, looks like a piece of stone or marble, very, very nicely designed. The internal packaging is exceptional as well, very high density foam to keep everything nice and protected. Inside the box, you of course get the Khan Ultra itself. We also get a USB-C to USB-C cable. We also get this envelope here, and inside we have got a quick start guide. The quick start guide is good, it's gonna get you up and running. There's also an online guide as well, so you can get the most out of the product. We also get some warranty information. This was the screen protector that was on the device when I opened the box. We also get some front and back protectors as well. And I would install those front and back protectors because this is an expensive device, and I think it's well worth uh, just protecting your investment. And indeed, I keep this in a case to really protect it because it is expensive. It looks absolutely gorgeous though. Let's run through some of the main sort of features and specifications. So this has got a next gen octa-core processor in here. It's also got the fourth generation of Astel and Kern's user interface, which is really nice to use. I really love the interface. It's so, so good. These are some of the uh, audio uh, offerings that I've been listening to, and I've been so, so impressed with how you interact with the device, but also, of course, the quality of the audio output. Now, this also features their latest flagship DAC. It's a DAC from ESS. It's the ES9039M Pro, which they say delivers a richer, more expansive sound with advanced modulation for reduced power consumption, reduced noise, reduced distortions, and that in turn enhances audio performance. We've got a triple output mode. We've got se separate amplifier and sound design for the headphone out, line out, and pre-out ports. We've also got DAR, which is Digital Audio Remaster Technology, which gives you a really fine sound at higher sample rates. So that's really good to know as well. And we've also got a dedicated pre-out, which delivers sound through a specially designed pre-out amp. And again, this allows you to get the optimal sound control. We've also got an exclusive line-out mode, which outputs the sound directly from the DAC, bypassing the amplifier. I've yet to test that myself, but I can't wait to check out that feature. So this supports various audio formats, including WAV, FLAC, WMA, MP3, OG, APE, AAC, ALAC, AIFF, DFF, DSF, and MQA. So plenty of different formats supported here. We've also got a really good 5.5 inch full HD display. And you can see that here at the moment. It's great for being able to see cover art. Very, very nice to interact with. Now it's worth noting that apart from being able to play back audio from a micro SD card, for example, like I am here, we can also install various services. So if we tap the icon down here, V-Link and Tidal are pre-installed, but we can download other services as well. So we've got RuneArc, Tidal, Spotify, Amazon Music, Move, CoBuzz, Deezer. We've even got Apple Music we can download here so you can gain access to your Apple Music library. There are so many different services supported. The user interface is so smooth. I really do like it. And indeed, we can even sort of treat this similar to a smartphone. We can swipe down from that uh, top notification bar and we can gain access to the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, AMP settings, pre-line out settings. We can swipe across. We can increase the brightness. We can remove the SD card safely. It's just a very, very nice user interface. Now, let's take a look around the device before I tell you about my experience of using this and my impressions of the audio quality. So on the bottom here, we have got a micro SD card slot. We've also got USB-C. This bottom panel is plastic. The rest of the unit is metal construction. I would have liked to have seen the bottom panel metal as well, 
but alas, it is plastic. It's a good quality plastic, but just something worth mentioning. The top is metal as well. This is where you've got your balanced and unbalanced outputs for your headphones. We've got the power button here as well. And here you can also see this really angular design. It's such a unique design to this product. Now, I mentioned the plastic panel at the bottom is obviously there for a reason, and that's so you can gain access to the internal components should you need to. On the side here, we've got buttons for interacting with the device. On this side here, we have got the volume control. So let's just wake the unit up one more time. So you can see if I perhaps play back some audio, so this track is now playing. On the volume control, there is a light, and this light indicates what sort of music you are playing back. So red indicates it's 16-bit, green indicates it's 24-bit. We've also got a blue color for 32-bit and a magenta color for DSD audio. So I really do like the way that this works as well. And when we turn the volume control, you can see we get a different display on the front and it's got a slight click to it. I'm not sure if you can hear that. It is such a nice experience. Very, very high quality. Now, let's just take a look at the back. We've got some details about the device here. Khan in the middle. I have put the supplied protector on the back and I've also installed the protector on the front. I think it's important, as I mentioned earlier, that you use the included screen protectors and the back protector. So we've got a track playing, we can tap on the screen art, we can scroll through the various tracks, uh, start another track going for example, we can use the little dots at the side so we can play next, play last or create a new playlist or indeed delete the track if we wanted to. It's just very, very easy to navigate everything on this device. Now you're wondering about the audio quality. Well, this is one of the best digital audio players I've experienced, and the audio quality is exceptional. The sound stage that it delivers is so expansive that I can't really put it into words, other than to say that I've managed to listen to audio tracks again and again, and with this device, it enables me to place instruments in certain positions, and also to really enjoy the finer detail that's delivered on some audio tracks. Now I'm listening to audio tracks primarily at the moment delivered on the micro SD card that I've got installed and it supports up to one terabyte capacity micro SD cards. The audio quality again, just to talk you through some of my other experiences of listening to some different genres of music, for example, UB40, which I do quite enjoy. This delivers some really good bass frequency and some very engaging sound. Again, instrument placements are easy to place, the sound stage is stunning and the bass frequencies delivered on some of the tracks on this particular album just go so so loud but they're just really well controlled. I've also listened of course with different headphones and different IEMs and it really does drive them exceptionally well. The whole experience from start to finish that I've had with the Aston Kern Khan Ultra has simply been out of this world. I'm so, so impressed, and I can really recommend this. Yes, it is a big investment, but being able to play lots of different formats of music, have this amount of control, and also have the quality of the internal circuitry and DACs in here, and being able to drive so many different headphones with ease, is just something that doesn't come along too often. This is a high quality device. If you're into listening to your music, and you wanna step up the quality that you can listen to, then the Khan Ultra is just one that should be on your shortlist. I'm so impressed that this really does get my vote of confidence. It is built like a tank and it sounds sublime. If you want to pick up one of these for yourself, please do check out the links down in the video description area. I'll also leave a link down there to the manufacturer's website. Now, if you've watched all the way to the end, there is a little bit of a bonus for you here. I also, got the official case. Now at the time of ordering this, there was an offer on where you got a free case. I'm not sure if that offer is still on. If it is on, then pick this up. If it's not an offer still on, then I would definitely recommend purchasing this anyway. This is such a good quality case 
And with such a big investment, I really think it's important to protect it. This is a leather case. It's got a very, very nice microfiber lining. It's got little indentations for the controls on the side. Uh, it's a bit tricky to get to the micro SD card. Thankfully, I don't need to get access to that very often, but it does involve removing the player from the case. But once this is in the case, in fact, let's just show you this in place. Let's just give this a little bit of a wipe at the back to get off any dust. And we'll pop this in the case. It really slides in very, very easily. Doesn't add on too much bulk to the player either. Once that is in like so, you simply slide this side piece in like that. And that is now in the case. And as you can see, it's fully protected. We've of course got access to all of the, the outputs on the top here, access to the volume on the back, and of course access to the screen, charging port of course. Very, very good indeed. This is a really very, very nice case. It comes in a couple of different color options. And if you're picking up one of the Khan Ultras, I definitely recommend picking up a case as well. That really is it for this video. For those of you who stayed right to the end, thank you, thank you again. Please do subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in another video very, very soon.